Okay, welcome back, guys. So let's go through. Okay, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and then hit the notification button so you can keep getting cool contents like this in the future and for free. If not, I'm taking all of this down. But anyways, it's just my own way of giving back to the community. So the least you can do is just to encourage me by subscribing to this channel. Alright, so let's carry on. So today we want to make in the roughness map for uh skin texture. So we need some roughness map for this. So let's go to the on head. So I already have an example here. So it's more or less like creating wet spot wet, wet spots on the wet regions on the face for this so and to do that i'm going to be using something called the t-zone so t-zone is typically as you can see oily t-zone okay so typically the t is let me see if i can draw so the t-zone is somewhere around yeah then we have for the nose then around here also they also have reflectivity on the lips obviously then a bit more around this region a bit more around this region so it's multiple a multiple example would be this reference what's my go this reference from things are different from a screenshot from a youtube tutorial so you can see ideally for the face this part is going to be more reflective. All this part in white are going to be more reflective. Hmm. More reflective, a little bit under the eye. All these parts, so. And these parts, then the lips. Then this part also. But we're not, we're not just going to, we're not, we're not, we're not just going to add wetness all over the face. There's going to be some bricks, brick up in there, as you can see. Can see some break up on top of that. Okay, see some break up on top of, on top of that. So, so using keeping this in mind, we are going to let's see erase uh, erase all of this. Okay. So let's carry on. So to start with, I need the base. Okay, we already have a base roughness in here. So, um, let me solo this. I already have a base roughness for this. Basically, just trying to admire, trying to admire the skin details we added in here. Okay. Right. So, okay. So, I want to kind of visualize the roughness map we have in here. So, this is the rough, this is the base roughness we have in here. This roughness we have. So I'm going to break. I'm going to break this up. So I'm going to duplicate this one more time. This one will be roughness curvature. Roughness curvature. All right. So, uh, so I'm going to introduce add the black marks in here. And I'm going to introduce add bit math max. So I want to use the coverture for the coverture for this. So this will be the coverture for this. So apply this on here. Can you really see much happening in there though? So let's add a levels adjustments. Okay, really can't see anything happening in them. Okay, let me take okay, let me take this all the way up first. Take that all the way up. Okay, okay. Huh. They have something in there now. Huh. Okay. All right, so let's let's see what we have on this view. So this is what we have. 
So it's a bit mm, it's a bit too rough though. So I'm going to go back to the layer and then adjust this some more, maybe around here. Let me see how the light rolls off this reflectivity of the light at its as it rolls off this. Let's close up in there. Turn on the levels adjustment. Let's see if we can adjust. See if we can adjust this some more. Let's see what we have and bring this in. Okay. This is a good place, but we need to take this down. Make this something somewhat like this. Something somewhat like this should be just fine. Yeah, something like this should work, should work just fine. This will definitely work. So then I'm just going to duplicate this. I'll duplicate this. Duplicate this and I'll name this to probably name this to roughness curvature t zone okay something like this i'll turn this lower one off then i want to kind of add more roughness to this i mean more reflectivity to this rather or less roughness so if you visualize the marks getting something like this something is a bit more <clears throat> a bit more reflective then i'm going to i'm going to put this in a group probably copy this text let me do a quick save for this file first okay and I'm going to put this in a group. I'm going to add the black marks to that group. Name this T zone roughness coverture T zone. Let me just name this to roughness T zone like so. Okay. So and I'm going to I'll go to my I think death brush be a better one. Dead brush. Mm, I don't know if I should ask a on this door. But basically, I'm just going to let's go back in here. I'm just going to repaint, bring in that roughness map, make some of this part a bit more reflective. I think I should turn off shadows for now. Okay. Keeping the keeping the T-zone in mind. Go for the nose. I don't want to turn on symmetry on this part, so I want to do this by hand. Let's visualize this. Let's see what we have. Okay. And I'll use the lower intensity, the lower intensity for these parts. Let's see what we have. Okay. For the lips, where's the stronger? Opacity for this lip needs to be reflective. Need to be more reflective. Let's see what we have. You can see how using the cover job map actually breaks up the reflectivity of it, giving it a bit more interesting look to it or more interesting break up to it 
So increase the brush size. Make this part a bit more reflective. I think now I can turn on symmetry. Our symmetry is in the wrong place. Okay. Can just paint this around here. But not going to intense though. So something light like this should be fine. Okay. Then we'll go for the eye. Most especially this part of the eye. So you don't want to go too aggressive on the on the on the eye though. So I think I'll need a bit more around here. Okay. Yeah, this should be fine. I'm not sure I need. I'm not sure I need anything for the year. So I'm turning off this roughness curvature. So I can kind of so I want to just see. So I can just visualize just the roughness, just the reflectivity of what of what we're painting in here alone. Yeah, this should be fine. A bit more, probably some more. Okay, all right, we're in a good place. So let me turn on this base roughness, overture roughness, also. Let's visualize everything. So, this is what we have. You can actually see the brick up in there. We have some break up in there. Yeah, this will work. This will work just fine. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Bring everything back out. This is what we have. Let's use a different light setup for this. Try different light setup with shadows in there. Probably some of these studio lights. Studio, let's try to studio three. So still studio three has an interesting, has an interesting look to it. You can see how it kind of creates some deep shadows under the eye, which is actually cool. There's some deep shadowing under the eye. Kind of makes our color pop out a bit more because of this strong ass shadow around it. Okay, this is nice. Now, can we see the reflectivity on the forehead a bit more? Can see the reflectivity on the forehead a bit more and on the lips. Maybe we can even turn down the roughness. Or increase roughness rather so it's not very strong or something like this be a good place okay let's try a different light environment what is this let's try this sound looks a bit weird though let's try this cave the eye is too reflective though, so let's just ignore the eyeball. Overall, we're getting something interesting. So we're just trying to test out different light setup to see if our, our to see if our texture and reflectivity works well on different light setup, which for the most part, for the most part is working, it's working just fine. It's working just fine. Okay. That's strong. That's strong neutral lights.
okay yeah yeah everything seems, seems fine I think this will work this will work just fine the best legacy is to map with studio and then this studio 3 see your trees just a good one you can see the dark shadows under the eye okay so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next lesson bye for now